Hey friends, uh, today we will discuss about uh, day trading. Okay, so as the name suggests, uh, we are discussing about trading. So that means trading is uh, buying and selling. That is what trading is. And wherever you go outside you know, in any shop, any business is all about buying and selling. So you buy at a certain price and you sell it higher than that and you make the profit. That is how the businesses work. So now day trading is relating to um, uh, the industry of um, stocks and shares. Uh, you know, that means if you are selling in stocks and shares, okay, uh, that could be a day trading or Forex for an exchange uh, could be a day trading or you could uh, deal with uh, bullions that could be a day trading or you could uh, be buying and selling uh, cryptocurrencies okay that these are all day trading so that means these are kind of um, uh, is, these are not um, um, uh, you know physical asset but these are kind of a digital asset okay so that means our uh, digital goods you are you are selling okay so that means uh, let's say a mobile phone you know you this is physical you're buying uh, you know from let's say someone in china and you sell it uh, you know in in the us or in the uk or any country at a certain amount of profit um, and that is the trading you did a trading but when it comes to a um, digital product okay and that you can buy and sell when you are doing it okay and you are selling it or you are buying with the purpose of selling it okay uh, in a short duration of time that becomes a trading because for example stocks and shares you could uh, you know buy it and hold that becomes an investment so that means you are investing that means the intention is to hold it for such a lo uh, long time so that you are expecting an appreciation of value over a period of time so that uh, you know you can capitalize on the profit what you make out of it okay so but the trading is when you know you don't wait for a longer duration of time but you buy it and instantly or after you know few minutes few uh, hours few days you, you sell it okay you don't just do not hold it or intention is to not hold it for long duration of time and how what is a long well there is nothing like you know if you are holding to something for months okay or more than a month i would say that is an investment uh, in a purpose you have taken it um, if you have bought it to to sell it uh, you know Le in less than a month, it could be in few hours, few few um few minutes or few days. Then that is what I call it a trading. So, okay, so you have to understand the difference. So that means there are people, um, you know, who make money in uh, you know, um, holding on to you know the digital assets. Okay, or you can trade it. That means buy and sell, buy and sell, and you can make out of money out of it. Okay, so for that we have to we will understand then what should be the strategy. Okay, how the day trading works and how do you make money out of it? Okay, so let's talk about it. Let me just share my screen so that uh, you know I can uh, show you. Uh, how does it work? Uh, okay, so I have a website called um, Coin Gecko. Okay, so now this is the website. Okay, let me just Coin Gecko. Okay, so now, so we're talking about a. Uh, um, now this is uh, you know a website where um, you know cryptocurrencies. Okay, uh, um, I can I can see the cryptocurrencies online and how what are the you know sort of what is the performance of cryptocurrency. Now just to let you know that cryptocurrencies the market uh, you know is open um, throughout twenty four seven. Okay, unlike uh, you know for example stocks and shares. Okay, stock exchanges. So these are uh, ex you know traded in stock exchanges. Okay, these are all centralized stock exchanges. For example, Nasdaq. Okay, is a stock exchange. Your New York stock exchange. Your London stock exchange. Your Mumbai stock exchange. So these are there are stock exchanges where they are centralized stock exchange where you know there are stock brokers and there are people who buy and sell. Okay, so the market has to be open. So that means it's not twenty four seven. So stock exchanges are usually office hours. They they open, keep it open, um, and uh, weekends they are they are closed. So that means it's kind of not twenty four seven. 
but certain industries uh, you know or certain kind of a day trading or certain digital goods you know you can trade or you can buy and sell 24 7 okay so crypto is one amongst them which is uh, 24 7 okay every minute uh you know every second you will see that it's trading because there is no uh kind of a centralized one exchange where you know these are all traded okay so these are um kind of uh, all around the world people are buying and selling even though you know these are uh, so there are certain exchanges certain um central uh, exchanges are there as well where you can buy where you can sell but there are also decentralized platforms where you know these buying and selling also happens okay so now let's talk about how exactly should be the strategy or how exactly you analyze because when you are buying um and uh, with the purpose of selling it instantly so now you have to understand that um you know or you can only buy okay uh if you are able to sell it at a profit now there are two strategies on, on a day trading as well so one is um you know um you can short it or you can long it as well so what does that mean short and long short it uh shorting uh, that means uh you know when you are buying with the uh, when you are getting into a market okay or you are getting into a trade uh with the intention or with uh you know why, why you are getting into this trade is because you are expecting a certain asset or certain certain um, um value of your in this case uh, you know cryptocurrency if its value is going to go down so that is called uh, you are entering into a short trading whereby if you want to enter, uh, enter into that trade then you first sell it and then you buy it so that means you sell it at a uh, you know uh, first and then buy it at a lower price so that means when you are selling um, you know uh, so you are expecting it to ca come down and then you are buying it at the at the lower price and that is when you make profit now you must be saying that okay how can you sell something without owning it without buying it okay because that is what we think well it is it is possible with a loan okay so that is uh you know futures and derivatives market which is a bit of a you know risky as as well okay but this is definitely there is a way you can make money by downward trend or you can make money upward trend so upward trend is when you buy um uh, you know any any sort of a digital asset um okay or you're entering into a trade whereby you're expecting the price of that uh you know asset to go up okay and uh, so with that then what you do and you first buy and then you sell okay so that is the long trading so you are getting into a, a you know a long transaction okay long long trading where you are first buying with the intention that you are you are seeing that is that is a growth or you're expecting a growth and you sell it at a higher price so short is uh, when you know you are uh, first uh, you know selling it and then you are buying it and the long is when you are, you are first buying it and then you are selling it okay so the strategy is uh, you know downward trend and upward trend market uh, you know that's where you enter into so now let's see for example bitcoin okay so now if you click on here i just wanted to show you there are so many different uh, websites as well coin market cap is another very well known website you know um, where you can go as well if you are entering into crypto trading so now you see here okay before you get into trading so that means coin gecko this is not where you can trade you can cannot buy or sell if you if you so is a buy button buy and sell if you see here if i click on here it says that you know there's a sponsor there's a decentralized exchange where you need to go okay so and a long and short and all and all those things are there okay so now this is just to monitor this is just to show you you need to take a look and see how does that um how you are going to analyze okay because it requires analysis okay because your intention is to make profit okay you just you are not buying it and holding it just like an investment strategy you have to understand that okay you have to understand uh, and analyze certain trend 
okay so that means day trading is when you are in and out of the market okay real quick and you are making profit right away okay so now you see here okay i'm coming down here and bitcoin uh, price chart if you see here 24 hours okay uh, what it has done is it has gone down okay now you can see you know with the starting price of uh, you know 42825 now it is uh, 42000 uh, 069 okay in 24 hours time it has gone down the value has gone down okay so now if you see here seven days okay there are different days and year you can uh, check the trend in a seven days time span what it has done is uh, you see here okay 16th of march okay uh, same time it is the price was 40000 and uh, you know today's date as it today's 24th uh, sorry 23rd of march um, you know, what is that is 42,034. So now you see that the trend is, is 40,000 to 42,000. It has increased the price. Okay, you can see the increase. Now, uh, you know, so these are the certain things you are an analyzing here just to see, okay, what is the uh, trend? So in a 14 day cycle, probably, you know, it's uh, price has come down. It's 41,829 and uh, this is 42,000. Okay, oh, okay. No, it has uh, some marginally it has went up. Okay, so now very important is for you to analyze the market. How do you do that? You go to trading view. Okay, now trading view. Uh, you know dot com as well. You can go to an, another website as well. You know um, they do a lot of. Uh, you know they do come up with all these charts and all. So different companies like Coin Gecko. Okay, these different portals they. Uh, you know, they avail or, you know, uh, they um, show the trading view uh, apps as well in their, in their website, okay? So now you see here, so this is what is very, very important for you to understand now. This is called candlestick, okay? Now, you have to understand how do you analyze the candlesticks, okay? So now if you see here, what, what are these? Uh, can see red green and then some uh, you know elongated uh, line here and uh, you know, some line here and what are these and what are these okay so let's understand it it's, it's not that complicated yeah if you understand it then you will appreciate it really well as well okay so now if you see uh, when i went into btc that means this is bitcoin and uh, this is usdt so that means uh, you know because cryptocurrencies can be traded against a lot of other things. For example, if you are buying, let's say, stock, okay, uh, from New York Stock Exchange. So, what in exchange you buy your stock? It's the money. It's the um, you know the dollar or the pound or the piece or whatever you know your currency. That's called the fiat currency. So, in exchange of the fiat currency, so you give fiat currency, you get the stocks and shares. So that is only one, okay, only one asset you are exchanging so that means the asset you are exchanging is the cash or you know the fiat currency uh, for that stock and shares okay so there's no other thing okay but in the case of uh, cryptocurrencies okay you can exchange uh, uh, you know uh, dollar value okay as usd us dollar or in this case btc usdt means you are exchanging you as tether tether is uh, you know a stable currency um you know stable currency in uh, the world of uh, you know bitcoin or so in the world of cryptocurrency okay so the stable currency stable currency this is peg this is peg uh, this is pegged against the um us dollar okay so the value of that uh, you know currency it is kind of you can say it is indirectly us dollar okay this is pegged against means you know this is kind of you know always tries to um, match the value of us dollar okay so now what gives gives is the stability because uh, you know the the other uh, you know any currency if you see bitcoin you know what do you see it's so much of fluctuation it's quite volatile so that has to have uh you know a trade-off or a trading with a with a certain stable currency that's where the terminology came it should be stable it should not be volatile just like any other cryptocurrency and that's why it's a stable currency there are so many stable currency as well you know us tether is one one of the 
largest uh, and well accepted uh, you know stable currency usdc is another one as well usdt and ust as well you know um in a in terra network you know us uh, you know t as well is one other another currency dai is another stable currency there are so many stable currencies in the, in the market as well i'll show you as well that uh, stable currency in a minute talk what are the stable currencies how do you know but anyways now you see that the value okay now the, what this represents is uh, you know when i am on one hour uh, you know clicked on one hour so that means all these these are called candlesticks it looks like candle that's why it's you know the um, the terminology we used for these uh, you know uh, lines okay are called candles so candlesticks okay so now if it's on one hour if you see that you know this is a one hour stick okay so this is one hour stick. all these sticks as you see are one hour okay so that means we are here right at this time okay so we go and analyze the earlier sticks and it will give you some indication of what is going to happen in future okay but will it always happen the way you are expecting not really okay it may may not happen the way you want or may happen with you and or it may just surpass your expectation as well it it may happen or it may it may grow or okay the way you never expected okay so that is where you know that is a bit of a uh, risk there as well in a short uh, short term uh, you would never know but sometimes in a long run you know that certain things will uh, you know develop well and it may rise as well okay so now you understand that what are the candlesticks okay so these are the hourly candlesticks so okay? different hours what you do what uh, this uh, you know uh, btc bitcoin against us dollar us tether how is this performing okay so now okay let's try to understand then what does that mean then okay so these things you know sticks uh, you know this is uh, something stressed uh, below and uh, above what is that okay so now let's try to understand this blue the greens are the green this green shows that this hour this is hourly okay this hour okay so that means 12 o'clock in you know as you can see you know it's written 12 here so 12 o'clock okay what happened was it the one hour okay so that means one hour in the 12 to one okay this this one hour so the value of the btc bitcoin against usdt it rose it went up so when this up that means what happened so this was the starting point and this is the end point so in one hour duration it went up now what is these uh, you know th small thread like things you know coming out okay what is that you know small elongation so that shows okay even though it started here and finished here okay so started here means what what price you can see the price here at the to the right 42039 it started and it finished at 42352 okay so starting finishing so it even though it start finished but you also would like to know that during this time okay did it go above where it finished now or it below so that is what it shows here okay now down below there is a there is a line what it shows it during this one hour time frame it also at certain point of time it went down up to 41876 and also it also went up as well to a maximum. This is a maximum stick, okay? The maximum is, okay, up to here, it went up to 42,463.02, okay? So now with one hour, what happened in one hour, you will get an entirely clear picture here of what's happened, okay? Now, with all these you know different kinds of charts as you can see here okay there is no above so what, what does that show you got only one stick here so that it shows that you know the red means you know this was the starting price so the above was the starting okay how much was the starting you can see to the right is 42,397.85 and this is the end price end means what and when after after an hour okay the value of the btc was 42,326.17 and uh, what is this strong uh, you know this is this line is it shows that okay during this one hour it went down as well at certain point of time to a maximum of 
41,883.05, okay? There you can see to the right, okay? So that is quite important, just take a look here, okay? 42,889.56, yeah. 40, oh, 41,883, okay? So now you understand that, okay, why there is no uh, above, you know, no, no line above? Because that was, it never, it started here, it went down up to here, a different point of time, it just, uh, went like this, and then it finished here, okay? It never went, above the price at which it started with the trading in that one hour okay so hope you understand it is quite quite easy to understand you know and what are these so these just shows the volume okay how many transactions okay and what kind of a transaction the win is a is a long green a, you know uh, stick here Okay, what does that show? That long green means there was a heavy transaction of what? So that means there is appreciation as you can see here, the price appreciated. And there was a lot of buying happened. So when, when in the market people buy, what happens? The stock prices, the share, you know, the share or forex, or in this case, the, the Bitcoin, you know, the cryptocurrency, the prices goes up. Okay. So the buyer's demand is more, more buyers, more demand, you know, it goes up. And, uh, you know, when it's less, okay. So the, the supply is more, the demand is less, it goes down. Okay. So hope you understand it. So that is what has happened here. Okay. So it, up, 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 okay, and then there is there are sales, okay. This is selling market, okay. There is a massive selling happened here, you know. Even though it there was a lot of buyer came into the market, but the sales happened and you know it it crashes, and then again buyer came in to push the market up, and then there are sellers. So this is how it goes up and down, okay. So this is what is very very important for you to understand the basics of candlestick, okay. Now, the next thing is you can also, there are so many indicators, okay? Uh, you can, uh, so for example, um, there are so many average indicators. For example, that shows, uh, you know, um, what it would be, you know, in future, moving average exponential, okay? So if you see, this is one of the um, uh, indicators I use. So I just change it instead of nine, let's say 20. What happens here is, uh, it uh, goes back, okay, and the trend, okay, of last 20s trend, okay, it, it is going to 20 days or 20, uh, 20 of uh, 30 minutes or one minute or whatever that is. So it, uh, on an average, it gives an average and, uh, you know, draws this line here so that you can analyze, okay, the average wise, it has gone up now at this point of time. But the 20 days average or 20 hours average shows that okay, it's like this. So that means that you, it can give a bit of an indication that eventually after some point of time, it may come back to this level. Okay, now you can see it's going down, but again, coming up. Okay, so this is how you analyze. There are so many indicators. Okay, so you can, you can analyze the you know, earlier trend to project or to assess your future. Okay, how it will be in the future market. Okay, so that is how you analyze and then you get into a trade for trade. Uh, you know, there are different if you are uh, dealing in forex, uh, foreign exchange, that's different websites. If you are dealing with stocks and shares trading, that's different website, uh, you know. And in this case, uh, you know, um, uh, for, for cryptocurrencies, there are websites like uh, KuCoin. Um, you know, I use the KuCoin um, as as a as a website for trading purpose. Uh, Binance is another trading platform. Uh, there are so many of them. Okay, so you can you can do that. So let's let's go back and let me just uh, show you as well that uh, stable currency. What we discussed earlier, I wanted to show you before we wrap it up. Okay, now stable currency. You know, see the last seven days. You know, you can see that fluctuation. You know, but you can see here it is kind of a you know. It's maintaining a balance. So when you see a graph like that, so that shows that you know it's it's highly uh, highly likelihood that it is a USDT. USD. These are all stable coins. So that means these are the prices are stable, not like here on these on these different um, sites. Okay, Dai, 
okay this is also another stable currency so these are all different kind of a stable currencies i can see cudc cdi you know so these are all the stable currencies okay so hope you understood it or you know it uh, it helped you to understand the day trading strategy so that means you either buy low sell high or sell high buy low first you sell then you buy first you buy then you sell okay so you understand it trading uh, strategies but there are uh, you know so many indicators you have to analyze and uh, take your own decision uh, do your own analysis and uh, you know if you want to make money on you know in in the stock exchange or in, in crypto market uh, you know forex you can do that as well so many people do that uh, but you have to understand uh, how to uh, trade okay the trade secrets how to analyze the market okay so with that i am done uh, until the next video over and out i am som som prakash i am a business coach consultant uh, you know um, and i help people to uh, with all these different ways that they can make their money work for them okay so that i'm done and pass it i will conclude it here and until next video